If I could, let me first ask you what's driving um, this optimism out of you, what's driving this optimism in the markets. You're citing a one-off temporary positive impact from vitamin prices. Is that, uh, is that the, the main driver here? No, uh, basically uh, it is one of the drivers. And good morning, by the way, and appreciate uh, we could be uh, talking to this morning. Uh, listen, um, uh, the strategy, as we outlined in 2015 already, is in fact working very well. After eight, nine quarters of good growth, we continue the good growth of our underlying business in 2018. Very strong uh, start of the year, and we expect the year to continue with our underlying growth across all our businesses, in nutrition, in materials, above the growth of the markets we operate in. And despite even uh, a strong uh, currency headwind, we see uh, again uh, a great step up of our EBITDA, our, our profit. So that is the really strong part of, uh, of the message. Now, on top of that, uh, of course, we have this uh, vitamin pricing environment, which is very favorable for us at this moment. And we expect in vitamin AE this to be temporarily of nature, especially in the first half of 2018. And if you take the growth of the underlying business, if you take that we could increase our profit substantially despite the headwind, and on top of that, the vitamin effect, of course, that makes the first quarter very, very strong, and that raises also, that helps raising our outlook for the, for the full year. But I want to stress but that, that I'm especially excited, not only about the one time, but the underlying business doing very well, basically. Let, let me ask you, I mean, you, you're running a $16 billion company in a lot of different markets across North America, Europe, Latin America, China. Does this geopolitical tension that we're seeing and also the, the trade uh, conflicts that we're reporting on every day, does that affect your business? Uh, at this moment, uh, minimum. Uh, we don't see uh, that all those trade remarks of political leaders uh, and the actions taken are influencing our business. I don't see that. So we see a minimal uh, influence, um, and, uh, and that is the good news. I think we will show continued growth in our business uh, during the year. Good morning. It's Guy Johnson in London. Um, can I ask a quick question about, about the single currency, about the euro? Sure. Some of the CEOs we're talking to are suggesting that the euro is beginning to hurt, that we saw a rapid appreciation last year, and that is starting to make life difficult. Any evidence in your business that the euro is hurting? Well, uh, yes and no. Uh, the euro is hurting if you look to the impact uh, that the euro has on our EBITDA growth. It is, to be honest, uh, very significant. And uh, the difference between the euro uh, last year, first quarter, and this year is a significant uh, uh, difference and has a significant impact on, on our profit. However, uh, the underlying growth, uh, to be honest, is that strong uh, that we more, more than compensated uh, for that in our total EBITDA. So, yeah, to a certain degree, I said, well, apparently we're not hurt because you see the step up with EBITDA despite yep. the headwind. You can also say if you would uh, compensate that and calculate it in, 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 in constant currencies, it would have been even substantially stronger, stronger. Just find a quick question. Um, your business is doing very well at the moment. You just raised expectations for the market. Are you going to have to pay your staff yep. more money? I, is there wage inflation coming in your market? Well, there is uh, some inflation and there is always um, some pressure of, uh, of wages uh, going up. Uh, but I think that uh, I don't uh, connect the wages of our people immediately to our business results. I don't ask when we had a, a little bit weaker quarter uh, that people are being paid less than, than, than the quarter before. So we take the wages a little bit on the, on the longer term yeah. and, and as a fair uh, wage uh, compared with, with other companies. And I don't uh, connect wages now with, with good results.